welcome to the stream. If you're watching this later, as always, thanks for uh, clicking. We've arrived at the uh, the Goron area, so let's see if they trust me right away. Nope. <laughs> this is this is a common common theme. Okay. Your face is unfamiliar to me, stranger. Have you come to visit our village? Yes. Well, either way, you cannot get there, stranger. You see, the lava from the last eruption has destroyed the way into the village. If you have important business here, you must talk to Kargaron. Follow that road and you will find them. Kargaron? Kargaron is the mountain goddess's messenger. He is praying at her altar for a stop to the volcano's outbursts. If you decide to go to the altar, be very careful. Because of the eruptions, the path there is paved with danger. I don't have to talk to everyone again, do I? Okay, there's a store. Let's see what the store has. I have money. Well, I mean, the shield is being sold here. Does it a quiver upgrade? Shit. I guess we'll have to consider that later. To be honest, I'll probably go the heart before the quiver. Unless I, I happen to uh, get a bunch of money before then, but we'll see. to the altar of the mountain goddess. Oh, it's just this again. The Goron iron we mine here in this village is famous for its strength, but it does have one weakness, lava. Oh boy. No, there's no way I can get through this. Or is this just the pain? <laughs> I think it's just the pain. It's a good thing I have all this health. Oh, that's not cool. Surely I can hit it from here. Let's see. Hmm. Doesn't reach. Okay. What? It cancelled it. Ugh. Okay, I made it across either way. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, you're a strange color. Hmm. Who is this strange face before me? This is a sacred place of Gorons. You cannot just come here on a whim. 
Hmm, I see you are still a child. I must salute your bravery, young stranger. Tell me, is there something you wish to discuss? You wish to hear about the fire sanctuary. Unfortunately, the way there is hidden to us. Only the Elder would be able to tell you that secret. Do you wish to meet him? Yeah? Good, good. Nice to see young people with some spine. The Elder is in the village, and there is a way to get there, but first... You are an engineer, are you not? Why? Those who drive trains have a special aura about them. I can see it on you. But moving on. Let us descend the mountain so we can speak in peace. I have some work to do first, so I will meet you down there. You go ahead and get your train ready. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Okay, hang on. I mean, if I had a chicken, I'd be able to get across that. Okay, there's nothing here, I'm convinced. Much easier than I thought it would be. Ah, oh. there's another chest here. But I think I can just get to that one. Oh yeah, okay. That's fine. Kagaron, why have you left the altar? I was thinking of giving a freight car to this child, and I need your help. If you say so, Kagaron, then I have no complaint. Freight car? Gorons are neat. They are. I just wish they were more trustworthy. You like how they call you brother? <laughs> you know, because I, I, I grew up in the 90s, it's just... There was a thing about um, the Goron sounding like Hulk, Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Brother! A shitty impression, but you know. Let me tell you, brother! Like, they're, they're all into wrestling. Which they are. <laughs> so. This is the favor I require of you, young stranger. Use the freight car to bring back something cold enough to cool the lava. Go to the merchants in the various villages, they may be able to help you. WWE permeated 90s culture, yeah. I mean, I wasn't into wrestling, really. But I knew a lot of people that were, so I'm aware of, I'm aware of a lot of it. My cousins were really into that stuff. <laughs> oh, I ate spicy food, so I'm coughing again. But like... I, I always used to be like, wrestling's fake. And they'd be like, nah, 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 how, look, look at that, how can they fake that? Dude looks injured.
your older brothers are into wrestling, really? Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. It's, it's a form of entertainment, I get it. And it's kind of funny because there were dramas to it. But, I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, wrestling fans. Like, if you truly believe it was real. Ooh, Beatles, yeah. It was fine. I think it's fine to be into wrestling and just, you know, know what it is, right? And you, you just, like, you enjoy it. I, I can respect that. I can get on board with that. It's when it's like, nah, it's real. It's 100% real. What do you mean it's, it's, it's fake? It can't be fake. Look at that. Does that look like it's fake? Yeah. Yeah, it does. The hello is a Twitch chat. No, none of my brothers were into wrestling. You loved watching bootleg WWE. Bootleg WWE? What's bootleg WWE? Is that like just people amateur wrestling? Semi-pro, huh. I don't think we had any of that here, at least not to my knowledge. Maybe I just wasn't, I wasn't exactly looking for it. It's so bad. I mean, would it, would it be, say, the equivalent of if it was on public access? Just low budget. And, um, you know, uh, home brand budget versions of, uh, of certain characters. Like, uh, special budget. Extra value, 30% extra. Not so much low budget, but choreography and stunts are poorly done. Gotcha. Save it. So now I'm earning less points per purchase. That's that's great. Beetle, can you please sell something expensive so this doesn't take an eternity? And then I don't have to sit here and chug potion after potion after potion. Dude, 500 points. Alright, let's talk about wrestling while I chug some potions. <laughs> they will look the part, but then they start fighting. And their punches are a foot away from the target. Alright, so they haven't learned to, like, do the fake connect. Or, in some cases, like, a real connect, but make it look like it's had more force behind it. But, I mean, even some of the stuff from the 90s was just bad. Like, uh... Fuck, what was the name? What was the name of... Uh, I can't remember the dude's name. But I remember who he was associated with. So there was the wrestler The Undertaker, which one of my cousins really liked. But then The Undertaker had... I don't know if it was like a sidekick or a, an assistant or something. But... Let me look this up. <laughs> just the, I'll never forget the face when I saw it, I just burst out laughing like... Who is that guy? What is that? <laughs> you can't be serious. Like, hang on. Undertaker. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of him. But who who was he with? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, Undertaker Assistant, maybe? Yeah, okay. That this is the dude, Paul Barrow. <laughs> ah! 
Okay. If, if you haven't seen this, dude, man. This is like... I'm gonna use the word cringe because it, it, I think it's 90s cringe. And the dude had like this high-pitched voice. I don't- uh, I mean, I, I get it. It's entertainment, the fantasy, but I just don't understand how they thought the wrestling was real. With stuff like that, right? Like... <laughs> if you enjoy wrestling, nothing wrong with it. I'm not criticizing that. It's more just the part where you could think it was real, man. That face. This is, there has to be a better way to do this. Just have to sit here and chug potions. We're at, we're at a bar. Link is just getting hammered. Don't worry, it's it's like energy drinks. It's it's not alcohol. I think this is this is funny that the discount is hindering progress on this. Oh, right, I have to get out of dialogue. There we go. <clears throat> Bottoms up. What is this? It's a Facebook link. Do I dare click it? Okay. Let's do it in incognito so they don't get any tracking stuff. Okay, so this is what you're referring to, like... Semi-pro... But, I mean, the okay, the production value on this... Oh, no, I'm like... Okay. I changed my mind. 30 seconds into it, I already want to stop watching it. <laughs> What the fuck do you mean a dude comes out? Okay, I, I have to show this. <laughs> what the f Okay, so... Uh... Okay, first of all, appreciate what's going on here in the thumbnail down here. There's a dude with a... Is that a fucking pizza slice? Okay, but that aside, you know, I, I, I click play. I'm like, okay, no, you know what? There's a stage, there's production value, they've built a ring, okay. That, that's fine. So I'm, I'm taking this seriously. I'm like, okay, you know what? That doesn't look too bad. And then I see this. And immediately I'm like, nope, I'm done. Already done. That's it. That's all, that's all there is to see here. I think that can be summarized just right there in those five seconds of that dude making his entrance. Eight minute mark and four minute mark. Ugh, do I dare? Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm skipping ahead, skipping, skipping. Eight minute mark, okay. So, do, do, do you mean this? this. Wait. And you can see Kenny K now that in that Goku Ra Raku str No, I don't know what that is. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, ca I can't watch this. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Look, if you're having fun and you enjoy this, that's fine. It's okay. But, you know. To, to say that it's, uh... To say that that's real, I don't know, man. And this wasn't something when we were kids, like... I was a kid, but my cousins were teenagers. At the time. So, I don't know. Anyway. They hold that pose for a minute. Uh-huh. See, so if there was any semblance of force... I mean real, true force behind that. Would the person still have consciousness? I mean, it's a long time, if it was real. Real WWE at least feels like they want it to be fighting. Semi-pro wrestling feels like softcore porn. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's got some semblance of a success. I mean, the thing is, people have fun with it. That's the important thing. If you have fu fun with it... I don't want to use the freebie card. Wait, that was a misclick. If you have fun with it, it's fine. Don't think you can choke someone out like that. Well, not for a full minute. Like, there's definitely a serious consequence for doing that for a full minute. But I guess that's the 90s. Is like, there's a lot of stuff where people got choked in comical ways, and then I was like, nah, it's fine. Don't worry. Choking doesn't damage people. What do you mean? In The Simpsons, does Homer still choke Bart? I honestly haven't seen that show in a very, very long time. But I feel like that's the sort of thing that he wouldn't do anymore. <laughs> you would think. I'll keep typing yes. I don't... I, maybe I should just use it just to get it out of the way. Save it. I don't know what I'm saving it for, but... You can appreciate the athleticism and creativity. Yeah. Like... My commentary on this ha is not on people that enjoy wrestling. It was just specifically my cousin saying it was real. And insisting that it was real. <laughs> That's the part that I'm laughing at. More than anything. You know, I think anything in a sort of low budget or amateur level, you can laugh at it. They do get real injuries, in intentionally or not, yeah. But I mean, that, that goes with anything that involves athleticism, right? Like, injuries do happen. It's not because they're wrestling to injure each other, it's just a result of an athletic activity. Sorry that this is me chugging potions. Maybe I should split it up a little, but I mean, since Beetle's ship was here. Wait, they strapped someone to a backboard and accidentally dropped them on their face. Jeez.
I've seen injuries from things that were designed to collapse and break easily, not breaking easily. And causing injury. <laughs> There's stuff like that that happens too. How many times do I have to do this? Okay. Ten times will get me... Ten potions get me 90 points. Twenty will get me 180. <laughs> so... Twenty more potions, roughly. What if he sells a quiver? I'm gonna feel so bad if he sells a quiver later. I think I checked. I think I checked. It doesn't sell a quiver. It's amazing how the OLED switch hardly gets warm, but the original gets molten and starts to warp. I don't think I got mine warping at all. And I had a day one switch. But it definitely did get hot. The OLED one I haven't noticed get hot. It's probably got better power than uh, the original or something. I don't think they changed the ventilation at all. It still seems to be the same. You'll sit at the exhaust vent, huh? We're up to 380. <laughs> this is so horrible. There's always one heart piece that is just tedious. I guess this is this game's one. I did the whip course yesterday, and that was pretty tough. <laughs> what am I gonna do for Breath of the Wild heart pieces? Um, the answer is quite simple. I'm not gonna redeem them. I'm gonna do exactly what I did when I played it the first time, which is... I'm gonna be running around with three hearts the entire time. And that's it. The only thing I'll be wearing will be a Korok mask. And armor, armor that basically provides one. So nothing, it can't be more than base. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'll have to fight Lynels and be good. Well, I mean, in shorts, but yeah, naked. All stamina. I mean, eventually you do have to get hearts to do Trial of the Sword, but uh, the way I'm going to do it is um, do all the shrines. That's the thing. Um, once I can get the hero's gear, so we're dressing Link in the classic gear, that's when I'll I'll just fill them up like as if it's a standard Zelda game. So I don't know how many hearts you get for that, and then the rest into stamina. You know the the classic two rows of hearts, and then the rest into stamina. But that's not allowed to happen until all the shrines are done. It's gonna be tough, but 
The thing is, I know I can do it because I've done it before. So. I'm not worried about it. There are things that are going to be annoying, but in general, I think I'll be okay. You've been using the whistle sprint speedrun strat? What's the whistle sprint? Down on D-pad, mash B to sprint without using stamina. Oh. <laughs> I feel like you would get RSI from that eventually. Hmm. Nah, I mean, I'm just gonna play it. I'm not gonna stress about anything fancy. Dude. Talk to him. What are you doing? Okay, we're nearly there. Just have to do this three more times, I think. Am I right? Something like that. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe four. You know, now that you t now that you said climb most surfaces, you know the number one thing that I'm hoping for now in Tears of the Kingdom, a way to be able to climb in the rain without slipping, because that was the wor I think that was the single worst thing. There was no way to fix that, and so you'd be doing something, it would start raining, and then it be like, well. Gotta wait until it stops raining. I really hope... I would have thought that one of the, uh, the sets would give you a bonus that lets you climb in the rain. I feel like that would have been an obvious thing to do, but apparently not. Okay. Last two. Like the atmosphere of the rain songs, so not being able to climb at all was head scratching. Yeah. I mean, I think it's fine having that mechanic early on. But. Wasn't there a set that was literally climbing gear? <laughs> I, I, you would think that would help somehow, but I don't know. Give me that gold membership. No, that's it. We're done here. Oh, you have 506 points. You're now an official gold member. That means you get 20% off and a lovely prize. There's my prize. Thank you. This is the last you'll see of me. Okay, cool. I think, I don't know if I'm miscalculating, but I think I may have all the heart pieces now. Like, everything else is just through natural progression. Maybe? It's quite possible. Maybe one more. Okay, so we're going to Inuki. Inuki Town. There was a dude that wanted to bring ice.
Yeah, it's either one more heart. Oh, wow, okay. Ah! What am I doing? <laughs> that was not smart. I just thought maybe I could murder them if I was to uh, destroy them from behind. No, that was, that was stupid. That was not a, that was not a wise choice. Not a wise choice on my part. I think we have to do the ice thing twice though, so... Ah, oh, I couldn't see where it was. I had spun the camera the wrong way. That was dumb. Okay. But at the very least, uh, we've gotten the... I would say the one that would take the longest and is annoying, which is Beetle Shop. Leet! There you go. I'm not getting any more money. No, I do. I do have to. <laughs> There's a quiver to be purchased for like, uh, 2,000, so... It's the next goal. I have a decision to make, which is, <laughs> do I play Skyward Sword or not, because we're kind of at the end of this. I feel like, if not today, definitely tomorrow I'm, I'm finishing this. I have to make that choice. Maybe I should try to do it with motion controls this time. If I were to play it instead of the pro controller. Where's the ice, Anuki? You're here, right? Oh, hold on. The gold card. Even the music for this village. Hey, hey, howdy, mister. I've got a letter and package for you from Beatles. You must really be shopping up a storm, huh? Well, I get it. You're trying to save up points for one of his fabulous gifts, huh? Oh, uh, right, right. Your letter. Here it is. Here you go. And this as well, the actual card. Okay. 
There's no point in getting the platinum membership. I know we don't got any lumber around these parts, and we don't really got anyone with know how to build a fence, so listen. Both lumber and a handyman. Do I need to do both? Lumber and a handyman. I mean, the only thing I can think of is going to Whittleton. Who was the one wanting to sell ice? Ice. Ice, huh? Well, in a chilly place like this, you figure there'd be at least a little lying around. Luckily for you, have got a fine local product called Mega Ice. Take a look. Alright, but then there was the slime. What, what's that? You say you've had it for a while? Well, that's news to me. Think you give me a lift to a cold, clear spring. Sure. Thank you kindly. Cold, clear spring. Cold, clear spring. What fits that description? Hmm. <laughs> It's not the beach. I think. Oh man. All right. I'll, maybe if I see the map, I'll have a better idea. I was like, hmm. Oh yeah, I gotta pay attention now. I must be good, conductor. Straightforward so far. Oh, man, I dusted in here earlier, and it's just. I think some of it went in, in the nose. been a couple of times now where like I felt like I needed to sneeze but then it vanishes. I hate when that happens because you just look like an idiot <laughs> from a distance. You're just sitting there normally and then you just put this weird face and then nothing happens. Phantom sneeze, yeah. Two things that make you look like an idiot, a phantom sneeze and walking into a spider web. So you're just suddenly walking along and then you kind of twitch. So someone looking at you from a distance just... It doesn't look right. <laughs> it's the worst. Hey, good work. 
Oh, that looks like a nice place for Mega Ice over there. Oh, yeah, right, and I got... Okay, good. I can do this while I'm here. I forgot about this area, to be honest. But I figured it would have to be nearby, so I checked the station names. And see if I got reminded or something. Wait, what? How am I supposed... There's a stamp station there. Oh, okay, that's easy. This mechanic is cool. I haven't gone back to see if I get anything, but for now. Yep. Right, so... Uh, there we go. Gonna start a business right here, guy. Oh, there you go. More tracks. Okay, it's time to make the Mega Ice. Sorry, but could you come back in a little bit? There's, there are certain company secrets I don't want to reveal to the public. Oh, trade secrets. that appeared, I think, so let's just go have a look. Yeah, my nose feels itchy, so I might, when we get to the Goron Village, I might get up for like 20 seconds and just get some tissues. It's bothering the crap out of me. It's one of the things that sucks about Melbourne as well, is just... Pollen. Pollen is a major thing here. And it hits you twice a year. In major ways. I don't get hay fever, I don't get asthma or anything, but I do have irritation to some degree. Oh, there's a new warp gate. Do I have an air purifier? Uh, no. But I feel like I should get one. Okay, hang on. Pollen? Yeah, it's... It's not a great thing. Wait. Hold on. Uh, oh, it's that way. Okay. Did they work? Huh. You know what? Let's take this. See where it goes. There's no rabbits here. We can see it. ocean roll. Goodness, what was that light? Teleported us somewhere else. Must be how the ancient people traveled back and forth between realms. We should make a note where these tele these spots can teleport. Um. Okay. That's a fair point. How do I go to a different map, though, from here? I don't think I can. Okay, 
Okay, it doesn't matter. You know, before I plot it, let me let me just get some tissues. <laughs> Yeah, I have hay for you, but the pollen hasn't hit. Ah, I feel for you. Most of my family has hay fever, but then some of some of us have eczema, which is what I have. Although it's not as bad as it used to be. I used to get it pretty bad as a teen, but now it's just like every now and then I'll get little patches here and there. So, but it it sucked. There's still a feet of snow where you live and you're getting another foot of snow. Yep, just live on a whole other planet. It's just like, I can't visualize it, really. Kill me, dolphins. So how... How would I get to... Well, I need to go back now, don't I? There's another... I need to go back, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have gone so far. Well, there's another portal here somewhere. Oh yeah, they're down this way. Yep. There's one down this way. Let's see where this one goes. Apparently one of the things that people say when they come to Australia that have never experienced hay fever they'll find out, oh, I have hay fever. <laughs> I mean, not everywhere, but in particular Melbourne and Sydney. People that have gone their entire life without experiencing it and then they come here and it's just so severe. We have, uh, every now and then in winter, we have asthma, asthma storms. Where the, the, the wind and the, the rain is just so severe that it, uh, it spreads pollen to the point where, um, yeah, people can get hospitalized from it. <laughs> I, I'm laughing because it's just like, of course in Australia this exists, right? What is this? Uh, pollen and allergies and all that fun stuff. I was just saying I, I dusted and vacuumed in here and I think some of it like just got stuck in my nose or something. I thought that was a gate I could go through, but nope. It's really true what they say, everything in Australia is trying to kill you. <laughs> Not everything. I mean, at, at, at least, at least, all that stuff is, is, uh, is nature. And it's not people. I'd honestly rather deal with nature than people. 
you know. Oh, the game. Oh, this is uh, Spirit Tracks. It's pretty much like Phantom Hourglass, but with a train. It's... it's alright. It's... I wouldn't say it's one of the best Zelda games, but it, it's fun. I think that that's what the DS ones were. They were just a fun experience, but not the longest, and it's not top tier, you know? I'm talking about original DS. The 3DS ones are different. 3DS ones had excellent remakes and, of course, um, A Link Between Worlds, which is great. It's like uh, my second favorite portable one. First being the, the Oracle games. The youngest is the man you play Breath of the Wild before Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna have to do that. Well, enjoy. I'm I'm almost up to it. You have a month and uh, two weeks. If I'm not mistaken. Pretty much six weeks, I think, perfectly, before it comes out. So. Yeah, two weeks start off starting Monday, nice. Well, that's plenty of quality time for it. I've taken um, a couple days off, but because of Easter, it adds up to a week, so. Well, roughly a week, a work week anyway. Snow. I shouldn't have left the, the ocean area. I don't know why I did that. That was, uh, that was a lapse in judgment. <laughs> I just needed to leave the station and come back. Okay, go back to Wellspring. Don't let what I say about Australia scare you off from visiting Australia. Australia is a great place to visit. And honestly, a pretty good place to live, too. wondering where that was coming from. I didn't see it. Oh, come on! Alright, it's fine. I went too far. Okay. Hey guy, so about that slick little freight car you got, why not load it up with some of our fine local mega ice? How about it? The ladies go wild for it. <laughs> I'll even cut you a special deal. 
Too steep. Did I just hear what I thought I did? Cheap. No, now we're talking. I'll pass. Hang on. Let's see if I can haggle. Cheaper. Cheaper! You're sharp, pal. I like that, so I'll cut you a deal. How about 25 rupees? What? That's not a deal. That's the same amount. Um. What's that? You're saying I didn't make it any cheaper? Guess you caught me there. Okay, you're putting the screws on me. How about 10 rupees? Cheaper. I wouldn't even cut a deal like that for my own grandma. The price is 10. Are we going to do this? Nah. Sheesh, you really know how to twist the guy's flipper. Tell you what, this time the ice is free. Heck, I'll even load it onto the train for you. Yes, for free. Sheesh, happy now? Now, a good time to let you know some things about handling the product. First, don't hit anything or let the train sway when the ice is loaded on. Also, watch out for monster attacks. Second, you're carrying ice, so naturally it's going to melt. It's nice in chilly places like this. You don't have to worry. Once you travel in warmer places, it'll be melting. Okay. Uh huh. So we gotta go to the fire realm now. You would like to visit Australia at some point? You should. It's great. And, you know, if the UK had any sense, they would try to do free travel between the Commonwealth nations just to, I don't know, encourage them not to leave and become republics. <laughs> Nothing specific. Just, uh, just off the top of my head there. Okay, so... <laughs> the UK and sense. Touché. Oh, one of my favorite things to see. I don't talk politics, but... I don't, I don't even remember what it was for, but you know. It was over the whole PM debacle thing, and there was just there were just people playing um, the Benny Hill theme, and it appeared on on news programs. They're just like talking about the state of what's happening, and in the background you can just hear the Benny Hill music playing. Gotta love that British sense of humor. <laughs> I might have to follow behind, I think, based on the direction this is going. <laughs> British people? What's wrong with British people? I mean, I, I look, I, I would rather take the, uh, the wit and the, uh, the sarcasm, that sort of sense of humor over, like, uh, Slapstick or horror. You're Scottish. No, I know you're Scottish, but I'm just telling the story of the UK. It doesn't just apply to, to British, it's like, it seems to be just a common thing in the UK. It's just the sense of humor is different. Your Brit. Okay. Alright, so we have one Brit here at least. Go away. I don't think these things appear in any other Zelda game. They're these elephant birds? I don't know. Okay, how about this? Growing up, 
the comedy shows that I tend to watch came out of the UK. Is, is, that, a, is that a better way to say it? So I appreciate the humour that comes from there. Regardless of where. Oh, you have got to be kidding. This isn't- th this train thing is just annoying. Wait, why? Why did it just do that? Is this thing just marching up and down? It's coming back! Oh, no, 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 I see, I see, I see. Oh, shit, if I would have known... I'm probably not going to get it this time. I think this is the only complaint I have about this game is like the train thing is just obnoxious and just padding. <laughs> it's really nothing else. The phantom trains are just there to be annoying. And the fact that you can't destroy them is, is kind of... Kind of annoying. Hopefully there's, there's some wiggle room with this. Okay, and now we go... Forward, hopefully. I don't think uh, I don't think this area was something that I I went through last time. I think I need to look for rabbits. What? Oh, I hate these trains. <laughs> it's just it makes everything so much more annoying to do. Should I just assume, just take the longest path possible at this point? Like, don't even, don't even bother. Don't even bother with the shortest route, just go the longest route by default, because clearly it's just going to keep putting these artificial barriers in my way. When they're not there to begin with, game will just be like, nah, haha, joke's on you. Do it again. How dare you not predict... Okay, I'm just straight up just gonna go around the long way. I got 20 ice again, so I guess maybe this is for the best, but... Imagine the, the player being punished for not having a crystal ball and being able to see into the future. Just steal some ice. <laughs> Being robbed by pigs. I 
I think I'm just gonna do that from now on. Whenever there's a a fetch quest, just assume longest path. Mm, 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 mm. going to be fine. It's lagging. <laughs> it's lagging. know how much ice needs to survive. I have nine. Stop! Looks like we made it somehow. Why are we doing such... No, no. That's that's not like... That's not princess-like to say. Come on. Let's go find Kagaran and tell him about the ice. Okay. Where, where are you? There you are. What is it, young stranger? I have it. Oh, wonderful. We can use it to chill the lava that is separating us from the village. Come, everyone. Come help me move this off the train. Okay. That was straightforward. Thank you. You should now... Go meet the Elder. His house is in the northern part of the village. It looks like there's still... As soon as the path to the village is restored, everyone went home. Boo on them. You see, there's one place left that is blocked off. One very important place. I want to go home too. Will you pre... Ah! I just noticed that your train is different. Does that mean I should be calling you Captain from now on? Well, like I was saying, there's still lava here. Captain Lankles. So we'll need ten. Oh. Okay. Uh. I got here with eight. But then again, I guess that was because I got... Attacked. Now you know what? No, she's right. I should restore the tracks first because that might give me a shortcut. And maybe might get rid of those annoying trains. She's right. That explosion earlier was too scary. That is why I am hiding at home. Alright. She's right. The disembodied spirit is right. Yeah. It's spiritual guidance. My spiritual guidance is correct. Hmm? Who are you? The elder certainly is imposing, isn't he? If you want him to help us, you'd better make a good impression. Gramps. Gramps. Oh ho, my grandchild. Are you alright? We were all so worried about you. This boy fixed the path to the village, Gramps. And once again, this makes me question just how Gorons actually reproduce. 
That is how I could make it back home. Is that so? <sighs> so you are the human Kagaron spoke of. I am the elder of this village. Thank you for your help. Now you are a Goron like to all of us. I have heard why you want to see me. You want the secret that has been entrusted only to the Goron elders, yes? Well, on this special occasion, I will allow you to pass. No one has been this way in a while, so be careful. Yeah, because th there's Goron children. And that's the Goron child's grandfather, so... How did Goron grandpa have child, and how did child have child? Okay. Oh, it did work. I was gonna say I have to get the hair dry out again. In case you're confused, I've been playing this game with a hairdryer because it involves blowing into the microphone quite a bit and that gets tiring slash looks dumb. <laughs> so, I've been using a hairdryer instead of blowing into the microphone. That thing just ate my shield, didn't it? Awesome. These things are the worst thing in a Zelda game, the fact that it eats your shield. Should I just go get another one or not bother? Oh, I just got that in time. I just worry that if I do go get one, it's just going to get lost immediately. I'm gonna go get one. Watch it be like a hundred and fifty. <laughs> if it's a hundred and fifty rupee, they, they've clearly got a scam going here. Lure tourists into the, the their special cave, and then they just rob their shields. So then they have to come to this store and purchase a new one. Honestly, the moment I saw this shield in the shop, I knew, I knew this was going to be a thing. Ah! Oh, what's that? 200 rupees! Gee, it would be a real shame for you to lose your shield. Oh, don't worry. If you lose it, we can sell you one for 200 rupees. Bargain. I'm not paying that. It's not, it's not that big a deal. I'm I'm not I'm not paying two hundred for that shield. Absolutely not. It's not that far. I just cut through the snow realm, then go to the forest realm, then go to Hyrule Castle, and come back. Why can't Beetle sell shields?
Hmm. Hmm. Just thinking. Since I'm headed in this direction, I'm just wondering if it's worth going to Whittleton. It's almost like at this point I may as well go get the ice. Because I've, I've left. If I'm getting the shield and I have to go through the snow area, I may as well go get the ice now. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I might even just save the game. If I lose my shield again, I'm just gonna load the game. <laughs> it's just gonna be... It's just gonna be less effort. I don't want to have to keep coming back here. For a shop. There a shop. Ah, oh, there we go. A fair price, 80. What is this? Oh, the price postcards, right. Which I haven't gotten anything from. I think I need to exit the game to do that. Looks like your train can transport cargo. So how about bringing me some fish? Okay. Oh, this is going to be like the classic trade quest. Buy spare shields whilst I'm here. I wish I could. <laughs> I don't think you can. Hey, hey, howdy, mister. I have a letter for you from Ferris. That guy's a character, isn't he? He called himself a trainiac. Is that some sort of disease? I guess I'll never know. Well, anyway, here's your letter. Here you go. I should get a shield for my shield. You know... Maybe that's something you'll be able to do in Tears of the Kingdom, is fuse another shield on your current shield, so then you have a shield that shields your shield. Mega shield, I assume. Tell me, does this place look familiar to you? I'm trying to snap photo of an awesome art and plated version of that train. It's in the snow area, but... I mean, there's already shroom shield, and you know what? The very first thing I'm going to try in that game is make meat shield, meat arrow, and meat club. I just- I just want everything to involve meat. Or better yet, because you can get, um, like a bird, I guess. Almost like chicken. So, you know, my weapon will be chicken, my arrows will be meat. And then I think my shield would be like the the boar meat, the big type, you know. <laughs> Get to beat the meat. Oh boy. Well, Link does. I'm 
and gear. Oh, it's already too late. Hang on. Pull reverse. These trains just make everything take five minutes extra. Typing is all wonky. No, it's fine. I get it. You're in a Twitch chat anyway. I think by default everyone's typing is, is not quite, uh, let's say up to the highest level of the English language. the trailer again for the gameplay thing and I, I'm not sure if I heard it correctly but I'm almost positive I heard the Korok sound whilst uh, they're walking around in the demo so they might be back again unless it means something else this time but I, I swear I heard it Let's see if there's anyone wanting to trade wood here. Everyone in this village respects the forest for what it gives us. That's why we give back by planting new trees. Let's see. I mean, this would, would have been my guess. Yes, there is. This here is genuine Whittleton lumber. Build a house with the stuff. It'll be around for a thousand years. 20 logs or 100 rupees. Not sure. Okay. Sure. Here's a little pro tip. As you know, there are monsters. Be careful not to drop any of your lumber. Okay. Alright, so this doesn't have, like, a time restriction. The wood doesn't melt. Good to know. Okay, so we're taking this to the snow. And then from the snow, we're gonna take ice back to the Goron village. And then I'm gonna try not to get my shield eaten again. That is... that is the gold... Oh, wait. Ah! I have this path now. I completely forgot. Don't worry, Saka Train can't get me. think when the enemies hit the train. It's not that the lumber fell off, it's that the spiders were trying to steal my lumber. Oh. Okay. I think that's it. Fine. 
Okay, I, I did pick the shortest path, but this is also the, <laughs> the trickiest path. No more spiders, please. I'm going to Anuki Village first. Then from Anuki Village, going to the lake, get ice, then go back to the Gorons. But I'm going to save it when I buy the ice, so then I can just load and <laughs> try again if it fails. I'm in no mood to go back and forth, that's just, that's just going to drag us out way too much. Here you go. Look at all that lumber. Perfect. We need 15. Okay. Oh, no. Need 15. Took all 20. Even if we have the lumber, there's no one here who knows what to do with it. Could you find someone that can build things and bring them here? I know who. Dude. In the way. <laughs> yeah, I've already done that cave, so we can erase it. Uh, I mean, I, I'm doing like we'll get we'll get the the carpenter later. Otherwise, I'm just getting. Getting diverted from my my main goal. This was just because it was technically on the way from getting a shield. You would think with uh, an extra carriage, the health of my train would go up. <laughs> what is this health coming from? I don't think I'll be able to get the ice for free this time. This time I'll have to pay the asking price.
It's gonna run you a full hundred, yeah. Okay, so... I'm going to save it now. Alright. I keep tapping the train, but I gotta tap Zelda. Here we go. Um, follow behind this train and then out we go. Should I just assume that I have to take the long way? <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be the case, no matter what. I guess I'll make that decision the moment I get there, but I get the feeling a train's gonna appear like last time. By the way, if I don't reply to a message, just know that Twitch chat is being weird for me right now. Like, I'm seeing that it's disconnected. It's disconnected three times in a row. I'm not sure what's going on. But even the bot is being a bit weird, so there might be something up with Twitch chat right now. It's definitely not my internet, because... Everything else seems normal. It just has that, like, welcome to the chat room. Welcome to the chat room. Welcome to the chat room. Okay. I mean, I think it's pretty safe to assume that this game is just gonna mess me up one more time. When I do play Breath of the Wild, you assume normal? Nope. <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna do what I did the first time, because there, there were no, there's no recorded streams of it other than the very end, and I don't have the VODs for it anymore, so. Master mode, three hearts. Just pain and suffering. It's gonna be great. That's why I'm trying- I'm putting extra effort into getting through these games. Like, this is day three of Spirit Tracks and I, I'm almost at the end. look forward to the suffering. I think I'll be fine because I've done it before. I'm allowed to do stuff like uh, craft uh, food that gives temporary health and all that stuff, right? Like, I rely on food more than anything else. But, I mean, the Lionel stuff, it's muscle memory, so once I, I fight, I'll figure out how to fight it without taking damage. I had that down, so... It should be okay. But I do know there are there are some parts that really, really did suck. How many more games to go? Uh, four after this one, I believe. Skyward Sword, uh, A Link Between Worlds, Triforce Heroes. I feel like there's one more. What's the other one? Or maybe it is just four. Hang on. I've got to pay attention to this. Skyward Sword, A Link Between Worlds. That's it. And then, um, Triforce Hero. So it's three. Four. 
four if you include this one. I think that's what I've done. I've included this one in my count. Is this, is this even doable? It can't drop below 10, so as long as I get there with 10. I think I've done it. I just have to pull into the station now. Okay, I got there with 11, so we're good. First try. For real this time. Oh, 10. Got it. What a go-getter. There we go. Perfect. Good work, Captain. I am a big fan of yours, and now I am full of grateful feelings. Oh, cool. All right. Okay. We'll have to check that out later. I'm guessing that's going to make sense when the rest of the map is revealed. Anyway. Ah, uh, home sweet home. I love it so much, I might never go outside again. That's it. It was just to get that bonus part of the map, which I'm sure we'll probably have a rabbit down there or something. Okay, now we can... we can do the thing. I'm saving the game. Because <laughs> if I lose my shield, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna load. I'm not gonna... go on like a 10 minute detour to buy another shield. I mean, this detour was closer to 20, 30 minutes, but that's because I did other stuff. Okay. Right, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Can I just run past? Okay, I ran past. We're good, we're good. From this point forward, I need to assume that that's just gonna happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be doing this. Okay, bombs. There's bombs here. Oh, no! Okay, I thought that was gonna eat my shield. seen those in another game. Wait, do they grow back? I'm not gonna stick around and find out. Oof. There might be an order to this, we'll see. It's either that or it's just take it. Let's see. Oh, it works. That's cool. Yeah. Wait, but there was one more to light, wasn't there? No. Yes, there, there is. Whoa! That thing's gonna eat my shield. Stamp station. Okay. 
S for stamp. Uh, okay, it's another one of these puzzles. Alright. Well, that one is facing this way. This one is facing that way. Uh, this one appears to be facing that way. I think this is the best part about these games, is just the note-taking stuff. This way. Okay, what are we doing with this? Opening the door of friendship. Once upon a time, two men fell in love with a beautiful woman. One man was popular and always the center of attention. But all he cared about was the beautiful woman he had fallen in love with. Unfortunately for him, the woman only had eyes for another man. The battle for the woman's love grew and sent sparks hot enough to melt stone. But eventually friendship shone between the men like a pair of Light uniting. Okay, so I have to face the statue that everyone's looking at. Okay, so this is the one that's in love. This is the woman. Because she's looking at another. I think. Hang on. Yeah, and so then... How does this work? I know what- I know what the answer is. There's no panel to do, like, an interaction or a button that I need to press. There's still more here, hang on. That's the only annoying thing about combat in this game, is just... The fact that you have to tap to activate your weapon. Okay, there's the stamp station. Wait, oh I see. I gotta go all the way around. Good. There's a light shown between them. What if I got that fits that description? I mean, this is the only thing that's like a beam. Let me read it again. Okay. The battle for the woman's love grew and sent sparks hot enough to melt stone, but eventually... Okay. Okay. 
Trying different things. This is going to be one of those things that I'm going to hate the answer to because it's so simple. I know, I know, <laughs> know the solution, but where do I, where do I input it? There's usually a panel. Oh, fuck. Okay. No, 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 no. I know what this is. I don't know what this is. <sighs> I need to play, I think, hang on. Maybe it's here. Okay, what else do I have? It's gonna be a song. Wait, there's a song of light. Which, where is it? Uh, I need to remember it. Song of discovery. Okay, it's a sweep. Alright, got it. Please be correct. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Alright. I knew, I knew which three statues it was talking about. Just the, uh, the solution wasn't that obvious. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do this again. Excuse me, are you the guardian of this realm? Anjin told us about you. So you've arrived at last, boy. And you too, Zelda of Hyrule. My name is Ambrose, and I am indeed this realm's guardian. On behalf of the Fire Realm, let me extend a hearty, hearty welcome. Wow, he certainly is peppy, isn't he? You know, the Locomos are pretty unique people, and Ambrose is no exception. You should look people in the eye when you're talking to them. Oh, huh? I'm sorry. You need to make the other person feel what you're saying. But I digress. In case you're wondering, yes, I know who you are. You're here to restore the spirit tracks, right? Yep. Good answer. And good posture and volume. You remind me of myself, boy. And I'm very impressed with the courage it took to make it here. Now, in order to restore the lost spirit tracks, I need your help. Do you know about the Locomo songs? Of course. As you know, each song requires two instruments to play it correctly. Now listen, I'll play your part first, so do what I do. Please be easy. It's skipping a note again. Fuck. I hate, I hate, I hate this so much. Okay, I need to use low power on the hairdryer. Hang on. This is as low as it gets, really? This is gonna suck. Okay, hold on. Ah, oh, this is gonna take a while for me to get. Okay, I'll try my best. Oh, 
No, this is so bad. Okay, hang on. Maybe I have to do this by m manually. But even manually, like, when blowing into the mic, it's still clunky. I hate these sections. Me blowing into the mic with full strength, it doesn't register. <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> Try communicating with my heart. Okay. My heart says fuck this shit. So hard! <laughs> it's the part where it skips a note. That's that's such horrible design. Fuck. <laughs> I look so stupid pointing this hairdryer at my DS. But it's the only way I can get it to register properly. It's so much harder just any other way. I don't know if it's an issue with the 3DS. But it's just the mic is not sensitive enough. I hope this is the last time we have to do this, specifically. That was your best performance yet. Thank you so much, Umbros. Okay. Just one more thing before you go. The mountain's rife with danger, so talk to pe the village people. Wait. The mountain's rife with danger, so talk to people at the village before you go. Okay. Will do. Who am I kidding? There's probably like one more to do. If I think about the number of dungeons I've done, I think there should be one more. I think the issue with it is just it does not give you enough time to line up the notes. It's just so quick. If it gave you two more seconds, I think it wouldn't be that bad. I think it would be okay. I know what's here. Okay, move. <laughs> uh. 
We are not losing a shield. Oh, it appears everything went well. You must be quite the musician. Will you go directly to the fire temple? Of course. Well then, just remember this much. There is a gate to the fire temple protected by three locks. But some mischievous monster stole all the keys. Without getting all the keys back from the monsters, you can't open the doors. I don't need to write it down. You didn't tell me specific spots. You take... Well, even if you don't... We'll share this with you. The people in the mountain know a lot about the monsters nearby. Okay, fine. My gramps always said the mountains were dangerous, even for adults. Be careful out there. But, I mean, this was the thing about games of this era specifically, whether it was the DS or the Wii. A lot of the times they would just make mechanics work around the hardware, even though they didn't have to. It was something that could have been so simple, but they were like, nah, it has to use motion controls. No, it has to use the microphone. No, it has to use the touchscreen. The monsters on the mountains don't like a certain noise. The noise goes something like this. One long and one short. Okay. But... I can't... Like, why would I write it on this map if... <sighs> okay. Notepad. Because when I leave here, I can't see that note anymore. I feel like this was an oversight. I think this... This and the previous game needed just a little... Separate area where you could take notes that you could access anywhere. Um, okay. One long, one short sound. Oh, gone and go run. Okay. I mean, is that Goron or is that Garoon? Gone Goron. Goron. Do not like big noises. Maybe you should imitate the animals they don't like. Okay. I'm... I'll just make a loud, obnoxious sound. I tried to get rid of the monsters on the mountain myself, but they're all big cowards. They are only fast when they run away. Do not do anything fancy. Hit straight on. Okay. I've lost it. <laughs> I'm just making sounds now. No. You should have seen the previous game when I had to fish for three fucking hours. You go into the mountain. The monsters there are strangely powerful. Three keys. Return here as fast as you can. Okay, well that... that can do. How do I get to that house? It's this way. Okay, this this one has no advice for me. I doubt the shop has advice as well.
Okay. Oh wow! Oh wow! This is a labyrinth. Um. Okay. Well, I'm sure we know the drill. Since there are probably rabbits, there'll be a bunny hunt initially. Oh, tectites. Wow, that that sucked. Wait. So wait a minute. How how is this going to work? Do I just have to like yell as I go? I don't have to yell at all. I think this is just using the horn. The whistle. I keep calling it a horn. It's a whistle. Well, this is convenient. Hold it. That was easy. Wasn't there a rabbit? I heard, I heard the bunny sound. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse either way. That thing's gonna wake up. I think I might be able to fight it again. There we go. Holy crap. Okay, go forward now. I feel like there was a rabbit there and then I lost it, so I'm gonna do a perimeter search now. Where is it? Ah! <laughs> the sign got in the way! I shot at it, and the sign got in the way.
Did that other one find me? I don't, I don't know. Go away! Okay, rabbit. Got it. Not leave me alone. I'm just getting harassed by this thing. Both of them are going to chase me now. I don't get why one of them is chasing me. I saw it. Got it. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, hold on, it is this here. It's kind of awkward. Oh, uh, go away! <laughs> Why is it only one of them following me? I have done the wrong thing. Now they're both following me again. 
Let me get this straight because this one was on because this one was on the screen. The other one got to get away. Cool. This feels like those things that alert you of the, the phantoms, or alert the phantoms of you. And how they have just an annoying recovery time and it just doesn't let you do anything. Already back. after the what? Okay, I need to reroute. Stay down long enough that I can get this last one. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, now just... Just leave now. I did say go back to the village, but do I have to? I don't think I do. I think it's just finish what I need to do and then come back. I think that's what they meant. I'm going back. Oh my god. <laughs> These ones on this weird geometry. Okay, bunny here. It's the ones on the hills that are just tricky to get. Don't you dare. I 
This isn't even challenging. It's just annoying. But it's, uh... pulling the horn. Okay, finally. We've arrived. It seems that the temple sits here on the very summit of the mountain. Well, there's no time to waste. Let's restore the spirit tracks and return to Anjin. Before we do this chat, small intermission. I just want to refill my water bottle, but also stretch my legs. Because it's already been over two hours. So I'm going to split the VOD here so it's not a super long one on YouTube. So YouTube, this is where we bid farewell until the next one. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> See ya.